Well, I'm out here in the great outdoors once again. This time I'm going way deep again to see what I can find involving history. So come along, and we're going to see what we can find. There's no way of knowing what's happened so many years ago through these woods. But all we're going to do is walk around and try to find some bits and pieces of it. And along with that, enjoy the peace, quiet, and time that the Lord has allowed us to be out here. may be a nail. There's something right there. There it is right there. I ain't got a clue what that is. Some kind of piece of metal off of off anything. It's got iron in it, but got something in it that detector light as well. All right. There's a 35 to a 50. About three or four inches deep. There it is, right there. Shotgun shell. That's just what I was looking for up here in these woods. This has been here a long time, looks like. I guess a lot of people wonders what these old shotgun shells is doing up in these woods. Um, I've done a video or two talking about some old time hunting from back many years ago back in these woods. And that's why these old shotgun shells are here from so many years ago. It's all that old time hunting going on back in the real, right at the tail end of the 1800s, beginning of the 1900s, 19... 19s, 1920s, long in that area, 30s. This one's going to be a 16 gauge uh, old federal monarch. Federal monarch. 16 gauge. I figured that was a shotgun shell pretty much. They usually read a lower number, but it's a good sound on the detector because these, these older ones has got good metal in them. That Federal Monarch, that's not as old as some of the others are, but it's been laying out here a pretty good while. All right. About a 60 to a 65. It acts like a shotgun shell, but it's reading a little high.
There it is, right there. No shotgun shield. This is gonna be a older one here. This one's kind of dirty. Been here a long while. Get kind of rough with it. It is a uh, Remington UMC Sure Shot. 16 gauge. Remington UMC Sure Shot. 16. You can tell they've been in these woods a long time. You see that rust build up around the primer. Whoever shot that shell, he must have had a pretty good gun. Does it hit that primer dead center? All right. I guess that would read, read about a 70. Five or six inches is kind of jumpy. Go down a little bit, I guess. Got something around here. Well, I thought I had it. There it is. Whatever that is, I ain't got a clue. Looks like a rock. Let's see if it's lead. It looks like it probably is lead. You see how it's that white looking color? That's got to lay in the ground a long time to turn that color. Uh, I think myself it's part of an old musket ball. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. The side off of one where it's, it's it was shot and hit something. It might have been a smaller caliber. It might have been some kind of small game musket ball or a, some kind of pistol shot or something. Because it looks like it was probably smaller than a 30 caliber. But that's usually the way them musket balls and musket ball parts they usually be. They'll be turned that white looking color from laying in the ground a long time. But you can see it. That pen pointer likes it. But I'd have to say that's probably what it is. It's probably part of an old musket ball. All right. Well, 
I came down off of this ridge right in here. Came right out onto this little flat, and there's a little there's a little path coming right here. Look at that. I don't know what that is. It it looks a lot like a kind of like an old fox den, maybe. By the appearance of the ground around here, I've about landed myself in in an old whiskey steel operation, or where one was at one time. There's there's a little branch coming down this hollow right here, spring fed. Looks like it's real clear. And there's two or three big dips in the ground over here. There's an, there's another one right here, and a couple of more over there. It's kind of on a little flat right next to this little crystal clear spring coming down around this hill here. Looks a whole lot around here where an old whiskey steel operation was. I don't see any barrels though. A lot of times you'll see the old barrels. There was whiskey steels everywhere all through this country back in the day. look how clear the water is in that little stream
know what this is. Pretty good size. what that is. I can barely move it. Well, there it is. What on earth did that come off of? No telling. Some kind of real high grade steel. I don't know what that is off of some kind of equipment or something it's not broke it's a perfect piece whatever it is it's heavy probably about 20 pounds I don't know what that is something different I've never seen nothing like it before Alrighty, I'm on. See if I can carry this thing and move on. You know, lots of folks wonder about why those old shotgun shells are laying out there throughout the woods like they are. It's from so many years ago. So many old timers used to hunt, and they used to hunt all time to put food on the table. They didn't hunt just to have something to do. Hunting was a must. They had to do it to survive. And a lot of my great uncles and their families and ancestors has hunted this land. So it is very highly likely that some of these shells that I'm finding belong to some of them from so many years ago. But it's always so beautiful out here throughout these woods. That's why I enjoy coming so much. I thank the Lord every day for allowing me to spend the time in the outdoors like I do. About a about a sixty to eighty, and it's showing no iron. There it is right there. Old rifle casing. This is a little bit older casing right here than what you'd usually find um, if it'll focus. It says W&W &W Super 3030. Now that W&W, &W, what that stands for is Western Winchester. 
at W and W was on there when Western was trying to merge with Winchester. That was during the process there, uh, when the move was in progress, going from Western over to Winchester. Thirty thirty. about a 55 to a 60 and it ain't really showing any iron boy that's some black looking dirt Well, where'd it go? Well, just lose it. Here it is. I done flipped it out back down here behind me. It's old shotgun shell. <clears throat> this is going to be an old one. I already see that. This one's going to be a Old Peter's Victor. Peter's Victor. 12 gauge. That's an old one. That's a nice one in good shape, too. That'll be a good one to add to my collection. Oh, Peter's Victor. I don't find a Peter's on every trip. It's got some good metal in it, too. And it's been laying here a long time. All right. Well, here's the ending finds this time. That's about the first thing I found. That old, some kind of old twisted looking piece of steel. Not sure what that is. Here's a an old 30-30 rifle casing. Um, that W and W on the butt there. I believe that's that's when Western was merging with Winchester. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Cause some of that W and W is on your own your old shotgun shell head stamps. So that one's a pretty old one. And there's an old seven millimeter mag shell. It's a big shell. Uh, these head stamps. There's an old Federal Monarch 16 gauge. It's in pretty good shape. 
be under the ground for a long time. And this one's a Remington UMC Sure Shot. That's an old one. That's 16 gauge. That's a. That's been in the dirt up in the hills for years and years and years. And it's still in good shape. And here's a really nice one right here. And an old one too. Old Peter's Victor 12 gauge. That one's been laying out there a long time. That Peter's is an interesting looking stamp. How that big P goes around the primer, that always catches my attention. It's kind of unique. That one's in real good shape. And again, it's been out there a long time. <clears throat> this little thing right here, best I can tell, I believe that's part of an old Civil War musket ball. Best I can tell, it's got that wide on it. It looks like a piece of one. Maybe it shot and hit something, and that's half of it or something. Pretty sure that's what that is. And this other little thing here, <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what this is. It looks like a rock. But you, you find these type of objects uh, a lot of times when you're out detecting. And I don't know if there's some kind of mineral in them or what, but you find a good many of them. It looks just like a rock. But, but as you can see, it's got it's got something in it. Uh, most people call them hot rocks, but you find them every great once in a while. Like I say, I'm not sure what's in it. Some kind of mineral or something. Just something in there, just kind of, kind of strange when it just looks like a rock. Last thing right here is whatever on earth that is. I don't know what that is. I dug out up on the right on the edge of a big ridge where it's coming down to a little branch bottom. I don't know what on earth it is. It weighs 15 to 20 pounds, probably. I don't know what that is going down the middle there. There's something round laid in it. I don't know. Is some kind of axle set in it, maybe, or something. I don't know. I don't know what that gray stuff is going down the middle of it. It's been put in there. But, I mean, it's solid and heavy. So if anybody watching might recognize what that is or what that was used for or what it went on, just uh, drop something in the, in the comments below on the video here. Because I ain't got a clue. All I know is it's solid and it's heavy. All right. Well, that's it. I appreciate you watching on the video here today. I'm Garen Carlin on her Mosses Creek Outdoors and we'll see you next time.